Chapter 15 Reckless and Thrilling When Granny had put her clothes back on, she and Ben sat down on the sofa. Granny, before Mr. Parker turned up, you were telling me there was one jewel you never stole, Ben whispered. There is something quite special that every great thief in the world would love to get their hands on. But it's impossible. It just can't be done. I bet you could, Granny. You're the greatest thief the world has ever known. Thank you, Ben. Perhaps I am. Or rather, was. And stealing these particular jewels might be every great thief's dream. But it would just be, well, impossible. Jewels? More than one? Yes, my dear. The last time anyone tried to steal them was 300 years ago. A Captain Blood, I believe. And I'm sure, I am not sure the Queen would be pleased, she chuckled. You don't mean the crown jewels. Yes, my boy. Ben had learned about the crown jewels in a history lesson at school. History was one of the few subjects he liked, mainly because of all the gory punishments they used to have in the olden days. Hung, drawn and quartered was his absolute favourite. But he also liked the breaking wheel, being burned at the stake, and of course, a red-hot poker up the bum. Who doesn't? At school, Ben had learned that the crown jewels were in fact a set of crowns, swords, scepters, rings, bracelets, and orbs, some of which were nearly a thousand years old. They were used when a new king or queen was crowned, and since 1303, the year, not the time, they had been kept under lock and key in the Tower of London. Ben had, had begged his parents to take him to see them, but they had moaned that London was too far away, even though it wasn't that far. To be honest, they never really went anywhere as a family. When he was younger, Ben used to listen in silent wonder to his classmates as they recounted their myriad adventures in show and tell trips to the seaside, visits to museums, even holidays abroad. The knot in his stomach would tighten when his turn came. He was too embarrassed to admit that all he had done during the holidays was eat microwavable meals and watch TV. So he would make up stories about flying kites and climbing trees and exploring castles. But now he had the greatest show and tell of all time. His granny was an international jewel thief, a gangster. Even if he showed or told this, the old dear would be put in prison, except if he showed or told this, the old dear would be put in prison and they would throw away the key. Ben realized that this was his big chance to do something crazy, reckless and thrilling. I can help you, said Ben in a cool and calm manner even though his heart was beating faster than ever. Help me do what? replied the old lady, a little befuddled. Steal the crown jewels, of course, said Ben. It's a really short one, guys. Chapter 15, nice and short. See you next time.